This is so important to me, this is what's so telling. The leftists, they always say, well, hold on a second, Palestine is not Hamas. You can't hold the people of Palestine accountable for their democratically elected terrorist leadership. But <laughs> Rashida, Rashida, sweetheart, you are the one drawing the link that Hamas and Palestinian human rights, that, that they're one and the same. <laughs> Question of the day, I'm not a conspiratorial person generally. Uh, I don't think Rashida Tlaib is a terrorist. I think she's sympathetic to terrorists. Okay. And I'm gonna build my case here. I wanna hear what you think after this whole Israel situation going on this last weekend, mm -hmm. along with everything else I'm about to present to you. Not necessarily a terrorist, but I think that like, if she wanted to change her line of work, she could be, <laughs> she could have Hamas dental in a company yeah. car. Yeah, the door's not closed. Um, what yes. you the door's not closed. <laughs> okay. She's on the higher So let's go at context here. Last week, of course, Rashida Tlaib was denied entry into Israel. There's right. more to it, but let's see a clip for those who missed it. This is a country that has just made a, a huge error, I believe, and they're gonna probably have to pay the cost of it. I mean, I, my goal is to see my grandmother. Um, you know, again, she's in her 90s. This could be my last chance to see her. Well, apparently that wasn't her goal, so this is important mm -hmm. for people to know. First <laughs> off, her and Ilan Omar listed Palestine in the itinerary, didn't even mention Israel. Huh. And something that people need to understand, I saw a headline, I think it was from Washington Post, that said, uh, Rashida Tlaib is allowed to enter Israel under one condition. No, 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 no. Israel did not provide Rashida Tlaib with any conditions. This is important to note. She right. was the one who sent a letter to, right. I believe, the foreign minister that yeah. said, hey, I really want to see my grandmother. And by the way, I promise not to do any of the BDS, not to, to encourage any boycotts or protests. Right. All Israel did, they didn't name any conditions. All they said was, all right. <laughs> Those that's jerks. It. That's it. They said, all How right. Dare they? And then she said, How you know what? They? I will not go under your conditions. Like, what? You sent the letter. <laughs> this is a crazy person talking. And by the way, the reason we're doing this video is because she blocked us. At the time of writing this uh, segment and doing it, she blocked us on Twitter, which the courts have ruled oh. is illegal. Updates to follow Ooh. with the half Asian Kraken. Um, <laughs> so since awesome. we can't respond there, we'll respond here. Here are some examples of, of, of Tlaib's uh, ties to terrorism. So yeah. number five, let's just start with her district. Okay, yeah. she's representative of Michigan's 13th congressional district. Uh, a lot of people don't necessarily know this, but it's an ongoing joke for people who live in Michigan. Yeah. Comment people from Michigan, dear Bornistan. Yeah. It's a support center <laughs> for Middle Eastern terror. Probably sleeper cells there. Okay, there was a local business, actually, a restaurant I used to go to, Lashish, which turned into Palm Palace. And when you, what's funny is when you research this story, uh -huh. it says, oh, the guy who was deported, like he wants to come back to the United States because he was uh, he was deported because of tax evasion. And no, 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 he was a, he was it wasn't just tax evasion; he was funneling. <laughs> Money that's to Hezbollah. <laughs> Seems like that's, that's a key a, detail. That's a, that's a little bit bigger than just tax. Yeah. 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 And they've been, by the way, many Michigan residents arrested for joining ISIS, conspiring uh, in terrorist plots. Um, these are, this it's is from an area place. that Tlaib represents. And this is important. This happens, I know you'll say, well, does someone, are they responsible for everyone in their district? No, no, no. no. But this happens disproportionately in Dearborn, Michigan. Nowhere else. <laughs> Maybe outrageous. it'll start happening yeah. in Minnesota. I don't know because I hear that's going, but this is like the first sort of right. Islamic immigrant haven where it was very largely, yeah. you know, demographically Islamic, and it's been going on there for a very mm. long time in record numbers. Do we seriously think that these people aren't the ones who elected her for that reason? <laughs> yeah, she said exactly. she sees herself as their representative. In her own words, she says she's more of a Palestinian in Congress than anywhere else. Honestly, I've never felt more Palestinian than I ever felt in, in Congress. Even in Palestine, when I'm visiting my grandmother, I'm more American, American like to the Palestinian but I'm more Palestinian in the halls of Congress than I am anywhere in the country, in the world. I don't, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you know, there, there's trying a trying to say with them. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of places in the country that are that have a large Muslim population that are fantastic and wonderful, and we're just saying basically that's fine. You can have a different opinion, just sure. not death to America, death to Israel. I think the line yeah. kind of it, it's mm. definitely there. It probably right. is a little earlier, definitely there. Or even the let me into Israel. I promise not to be a dick. All right, I wanted to be a dick. <laughs> Aww, and you but said I wanted I could. oppression, to be. oppression, oppression, <laughs> oppression. Now take that and add rockets, and you've got Hamas. Uh, here's another there example. Go, Care. We've talked about this. Tlaib is an avid supporter of CARE, yeah. Council on American Islamic Relations. Uh, she even spoke, I think we have a clip at their annual banquet. The Muslims are coming. Well, guess Whoa, what? That's I think a we're terrifying here. phrase. <laughs> yeah. Holy shiitake. We're not only everywhere in all kinds of different governments, but mashallah, wow, we're in the United States Congress. Nightmare. I, mean, I bet you would Nightmare fuel. Paul Revere. The Muslims are coming. Stop! They're children! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the Dearborn residents are coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> for people watching on YouTube, that doesn't make any sense. That yeah. was behind yeah. the paywall. You, you should join Mug Club. Yeah, you really should. Just to be clear, the U.S. Department of Justice listed CARE as an unindicted co-conspirator huh. funneling money to Hamas. The UAE has recognized CARE as a terrorist organization alongside Al-Qaeda and ISIS, so we're not making are, this up. Are, CARE <laughs> members, by the way, they provided more than half of the donations for wow. uh, various political so campaigns. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on a second. This isn't, where are the Justice Democrats about bribing politicians? It was over $50,000, I think, from CARE? Oh, wow. Wow. They talk about, oh, well, you're, you're bribing politicians. Of course it's a bribe. When it's a terrorist organization, you're a little fuzzy on the rules there, Chank. <laughs> <laughs> How could Walmart give this much to Mitch McConnell? Well, hold on a second. What about uh, the terrorist organization? Well, listen. Uh, I mean, you know. I uh, mean, uh, we, can't, we don't want to be sticklers. <laughs> <laughs> Reasonable discussion. All right, another example. <laughs> While we're talking about this, the kits just keep on coming. I'm building a case here. Um, the Muslims of America, uh, Jamaat ul Fukra, I believe. Oh, nice. So Rashida nice. Tlaib donated and supported the campaign of a congressional candidate. Uh, I want to make sure I get this name right. Tahira Amatul Wadud. I'm probably wrong, but you know, this close, is America. Close enough. Get them to get them to pronounce Bobby. I'm sure it's the same kind of problem <laughs> on Al Jazeera. <laughs> And then they, then they give twenty million dollars to Young Turks. Yeah. Uh, so he was a board member of CARE and a lawyer for Muslims for America, Muslims of America. Sorry, this is important. It was led by Sheikh Gilani, and it functions as a branch of the Pakistani terrorist organization Jamaat ul Fukra. Okay, according to FBI documents, yeah. Jilani's followers in North America are quote encouraged to travel to Pakistan to receive religious and military terrorist training from Sheikh huh. Gilani, and his huh. organization has been tied to many terrorist training cells in the United States. Rashida Tlaib giving money to this organization, uh, this organization's head lawyer with great vigor and zeal, might I add. <laughs> By the way, hit notification yeah. bell if you haven't, or just bookmark this page. We upload a new video every single day. Of course, full show. You miss a ton of content at Mug Club. Yeah. Lottowithcutter.com yes. slash Mug Club because this video, of course, is not monetized. No, Another example. Never will be. <laughs> This one is obvious, but that's why we wanted to go to kind of some, some examples that are off the beaten path. Hamas, ah. right? Her ties with Hamas. And I know people are just saying, are you tying with her with Hamas because she's Muslim from Dearborn? No, so that, that would be enough. But um, <laughs> Jake Tapper recently, I don't know if it was recently, he compared, I remember at one point, Hamas, yeah. I think, to white supremacists, wow. which is an apt comparison if you look at Islamists and what they believe, certainly as it relates to Jews. Uh, an Al Jazeera journalist responded to Jake Tapper saying that this was bigotry and Islamophobia, okay? Mm. So I'm just, I know this is a bit of a runaround. Tlaib piled on and said that comparing Palestinian human rights, human, 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 human. I've been doing Hopper's voice too yeah. long for the commercial. Human, human, Palestinian boy, human. Um, <laughs> compa she said comparing Palestinian human rights advocates to terrorist white nationalists is fundamentally a lie. Mm -hmm. This is so important to me. This is what's so telling. The leftists, they always say, well, hold on a second. Palestine is not Hamas. You can't hold the people of Palestine accountable for their democratically elected terrorist leadership. <laughs> They're separate. They're not one and the same. But Rashida, Rashida, sweetheart, you are the one drawing the link that Hamas and Palestinian human rights, that they're one and the same. You are saying Palestine when the other person was talking about Hamas. You defended Hamas sport. by yeah. saying they Palestine. <laughs> so the liberal lexicon, Palestine equals Hamas. Clarified That's important. It. Yeah. I think people need to notice that because yeah. they go, well, hold on, they're not. We didn't say that. We didn't. You, you didn't. said that. You did. And by the way, when the New York Times reported Hamas, remember they fired 700 rockets, killing four Israelis. Tlaib said that Palestinians were being dehumanized by the headline that the attacks were just the actions of people who, quote, just want to be free. Mm. Right. As though saying that and feeling that justifies killing innocent people. Right. All the time. Really? Yeah. That's your excuse. Well, and this would this would be an you go, okay, hold on a second. Maybe she just misspoke four, five, eighteen times a day with Hamas <laughs> and Palestine. But it's here she possible. is a picture with a Hezbollah Hamas supporter, and she refused to denounce the picture. Right? I think we have a picture right wow. here from uh, the Times of Israel. Boom. Yeah. yeah. She after she she was the Smiling. one who declined to go to Israel, yeah. Hamas came out and supported her. Hmm. She supports them, they support her. Rashida, Hamas, Hamas, Rashida. Rashida Hamas. Yeah. It's a reciprocal relationship. Very nice. Oprah, Uma, terrorists, uh, Michigan 13th District. <laughs> it is amazing to me that this oh is, gosh. again, she's oh. several times, she's equated Palestine, Palestinians, and Hamas. Uh, yeah. Another thing that's really important, this is something that really changes the context here of the visit <laughs> to Israel, which she begged for and then grandstanded and said I wouldn't do, gosh. is uh, Mifta. Mifta, yeah. Mifta, I don't know how it's Mifta. pronounced. Um, some people may not know this. Something close. But this is important for why she was barred to Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib's their trip to Israel it was planned and sponsored by a group called MIFTA. Okay? It's yeah. a Palestinian organization that has published neo-Nazi manifestos attacking Jews openly celebrating violent Islamic terrorism. Mm. 
They specifically sell it. What ex- do we have any examples? <laughs> that sounds bad. Do you think we have any examples? Do you have examples? <laughs> Yes. We do. <laughs> the group specifically <laughs> celebrated an attack on Israel that killed 38 people, 13 of whom Jeez. were children, wow. uh, as well as a suicide bomber, I think, who uh, killed, uh, was it 21 in, in Haifa? Haifa? Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. I don't know. We have an overlay there. Think about this context for a second. We're all talking about how she's been barred from Israel and how they can't just bar people with unpopular opinions. The people, the group organizing Tlaib's trip, yeah. right? Yeah. It was a group that advocates suicide bombings that killed Israel and scores of Je- killed people in Israel, scores of Jews. This yeah. is this is a good this is a bombing right here. Some B-roll after oh the bombing. We don't want to show the actual bombing because we'll get removed from YouTube. So the people yeah. organizing the trip for her to go to Israel are people who want to see the destruction of Israel. I think it's also really important, kind of like we were talking about with Antifa not long ago. Uh, find me the examples of her openly and expressly condemning Hamas, right. saying this is these are yeah. terrible people. They do not represent <laughs> the Palestinian people. No, she's the one who nope. uh, creates this uh, equivalency between yeah. them. And compare this, by the way, to the guilt by association to Republicans, right? People get really upset because Donald Trump retweeted a guy who has a Pepe meme, right? Or, <laughs> yeah, or right, David yeah. Duke said something in support of Mitch McConnell on his Twitter. I have no right, idea, right. right? And they go, look at this, it's clearly the party of white supremacy. And by the way, we're gonna talk more so about the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Twitter blocking. Yeah. Think about that, that comparison, right? It's like, oh, oh this is a white supremacist. Why? Well, well, why would David Duke endorse him otherwise? But David Duke supported Barack Obama in a lot of ways. If you look at yeah. his guilt by association, of course you cannot tar and feather somebody because there are some unsavory supporters. That's not yeah. what's happening here. If we're going to talk about the, 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 the ties, right? The un- <laughs> I hate to use the word unsavory, but let's just use it, unsavory, unsavory. ties, yeah. which is unfortunate because terrorist food is delicious. You can use ass <laughs> The <laughs> oh, unsavory ties, Supports Hamas, uh, has openly, I guess, palled around with organizations that have also supported Hamas and Hezbollah and published ne- neo-Nazi manifestos, by the way. Could you imagine if this were to happen on the right, if Donald Trump oh retweeted or actually had an organization, right? Spoke yeah. for an organization that had publicly published Nazi manifestos, neo-Nazi manifestos. And this is something that I've talked about many times before. I want to hear what you think. When you look at Islamists, partic- particularly places like, like uh, Hamas or Hezbollah or ISIS, Al-Qaeda, or really any Islamic government where they have death for apostasy and you're a lot, they're basically just Nazis who beat their wives. And these are the people Rashida Tlaib is in bed with. These are the people, if we're talking about money and politics, who's beholden to who, who's pulling the strings? Well, guess what? I have far less of a problem, not saying it's great, with even big banks or even the Koch brothers than I do with terrorists pulling the strings like in mm. Freddy Krueger 3, the Dream Warriors at that point. <laughs> hey there, YouTube viewer, you know the drill. Just click one of these other videos in a box playing up here. And I mean, bo- there's an actual box. I don't, of course, mean that in the feminine, it's a slur, but that, of course, I don't mean box because men can have boxes too, and I don't mean to say box, I just, that men can, there's like a DC outlet and an AC outlet, and they can be either one that they choose depending on the electrical current or the charge of ions, I think.